Oh, hey there, it's me, Kayvon, by far, as you know, the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. Why do I say that? Because people like Kamala Harris always want to tell you they're the first of everything. I'm the first half Jamaican, half Indian ever to win. I mean, she makes it sound like she's five different people in one. So I'm the most famous half-Persian, half-Scottish comedian from Reno, Nevada, who grew up on Zolezi Lane and went to elementary school. How's that for intersectionality? Bing! With that said, I am not a huge conspiracy theorist. However, do you remember who destroyed our cities and our streets? BLM Inc. and Antifa. During the height of the corona lockdown and the crisis, all we needed was a little calm to help get us through that time we were supposed to stay home. And while we stayed home and left our businesses unattended, Democratic-funded hate groups like BLM Inc. and Antifa destroyed the businesses we loved so much. Now, what's very interesting is Joe Biden was asked to condemn Antifa, and he said there's no such thing as Antifa, and that's just an idea. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa. Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this own is a left-wing. This said, is a direct, left-wing no, problem. Ahead, white supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not militia. Okay, but why wouldn't Joe Biden condemn Antifa? Because he is the number one beneficiary of Antifa's antics. I would, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left-wing. Antifa is the militant if you can call him that, pansy boy wing of the leftist Democrat party. And I can prove it. I want you to do this quickly before they figure out I'm telling you and then pull it off the internet. I want you to go to antifa.com on your computer, okay? No funny business. Can you see that? Antifa.com, hit enter. Well, looky here. The official Joe Biden website. See for yourself, folks. Pause this video. Go do it now. And don't give me that, oh, well, that doesn't prove really anything. Could you imagine if KKK.com went to Donald Trump's official website? We would never hear the end of that by the media. Yet, this is the first time you're hearing about this. The point is, Joe Biden, Antifa, and BLM work hand in hand to make your life miserable, okay? And then tell you they can fix it if you put them in office. That is Munchausen syndrome, where mom is poisoning you just so she can take care of you and you love her more. Pimps do this to their prostitutes. They will beat their employee. And then run her a bath. And then put nice creams. And give her some pills and tell her that they love her. She'll be so grateful that you fixed her that she'll forget you were the mother that beat her in the first place. To have ultimate control, Stockholm Syndrome. So if you by chance voted for Joe Biden, that means you're either an idiot, a low information voter, now these are the two best case scenarios, or third, you hate this country and you hate your fellow Americans, your business owners, your family members, the people who make this country go. You want to see it crumble for ultimate equality. Maybe your life isn't going so well, so you want everyone else to be equal with you down here. Or you're so rich that it doesn't matter what happens down here, you can just go somewhere else after you've destroyed the ship the rest of us have to sail on. Or you just became the Democrats' hoe and you don't even know it. That's some cold sh I'm supposed to be doing comedy. I'm not supposed to be exposing this stuff. But hey, the news isn't doing it, so I guess comedians are the new truth tellers in 2020. Now, I'm not the only one that knew Joe Biden was an idiot. How about some comedy clips from yesteryear? Now, on, on the political scene, uh, one of the Democratic candidates is Senator Joseph Biden. Have you seen the problem he's been having? He went around and made a speech. And apparently, he quoted a, I think it was a British politician, took his speech and kind of paraphrased it as his own. And then the press got on him. And Biden says, not to worry, he reassured his staff. He said, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. <laughs> and I hope you will start exposing things like this so I don't have to do it so much. I'd rather get back to telling jokes. See me on tour when that starts up again. As soon as the pandemic is over, I'm on www.kvon.tv. You can get my books my comedy specials, my merchandise, or subscribe to my youtube.com slash Comedy channel, where I actually have 300 clips of telling jokes, what I used to love to do. The rest of you, you can argue about me in the comments, tell everyone they're racist, and spew hate to each other. That's what the comment section is for. Thanks for watching, bye. Antifa is a dangerous radical. All right, radical gentlemen, group. we're now moving on to the Trump and, and Biden records. They'll overthrow you. When a president, I'm going to ask a question.
Just in case the election went the wrong way, board up the building, save the businesses. But there's one area they didn't have to board up. No one would defile such a holy place. <laughs>